happy Thursday morning. We're going to do some morning with serves, some some shipping. Oh, that's not what you want to see. Yeah, we're going to do some shipping this morning. We have 22, I think, eBay orders. Oh, shoot, I forgot to make a box for this. 22 eBay orders to ship out and five Poshmark, and that is the last um, 36 hours. So 36 hours is what we're looking at. Let me make sure this is uh, mirrored for y'all. Let me know if you're coming on in. How are your sales? What's going on? What's what's up with it? What's up, Casey? What are you up to today, Casey? What's up, girl? Hey, by the way, shout out to Casey. If you guys are watching this later, Casey over on the TikTok and Instagram everywhere. She uh, She's in all of our lives. But she told me about this exact same, this exact pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Um she said, these are these sold for me. I couldn't believe it. They're Tommy Hilfiger jeans. And I literally found the same pair. Normally, you find a similar pair, the exact same pair, with the little hit right here, the little carpenter hit that we all remember from the late 90s. But yeah, so shout out to you, Casey. Good morning, adventure. Thrifting. Oh, man, never mind, Casey. I'm trying to make people jealous up in here. Hi, sure. What's up, Barbara? Welcome in, everybody. Let's, uh, let's get to see where we're at. So let's see where I'm at with my labels. I saw, okay, so we need to flip this over. We need to flip this over. Yeah, we need to flip these over. Um, as you guys know, for new here, there's always new people. Um, I have all my inventory in my basement. I pick everything for my sales. I bring it all over to my shipping station where we're at right now. And I ship live with you. Tell you how much I paid and how much it sold for. So buyer pays shipping for everything, everywhere, everywhere I go. Good morning, Trisha. Uh, Trisha, what's up? You have a question for me? What's going on? Uh, Kit Kat, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, Kit Kat? Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, what's up, Brock? Brock, one of my former students is over on uh, on Instagram. Good morning, Brock. To you. Brock, yesterday I saw Sam. I'm going to post a picture of everybody on Instagram stuff. Saw Sam. He works at Goodwill. He purges the clothing. Thanks for the bros. And um, if you guys remember way back in the day, you might remember me going live and seeing Sam. But yeah, saw one of my old students who's 28 years old now. Crazy. Shipper Brad is on duty. Do you know the sell-through rate of... Yes, Trisha. I watched K-Ways Live. I saw you talk. Get Columbia out of here. Sell-through rate on uh, 6XL Columbia PFG is 1,500%. So I think he said something about like one listed and six sold or something, whatever the math would be. But uh, thanks, Playgirl. I appreciate it. Shipper Brad, you are okay. I hope you are doing better job now. I am. I Shipper Brad was off for most of the day, was off yesterday. Uh, he shipped later that night a couple days ago. He's been off for 36 hours. The dude gets a lot of time off, but all the Brad's, get a whole week off starting today. So I'm going to shut down my eBay store, put on vacation mode starting here in a little bit. Um, I'm going to leave here today at like two driving and I'll probably put my store on vacation mode right before I leave. Poshmark store is going to be on like pause on ghost mode until I get back. But one thing you will see here, those of you know have auto posture, I swear to you, Half these eBay sales will be auto posture sales. Half of them. I'm telling you right now. Watch. As I was pulling stuff. Good morning, Casey Flores. How you doing over there? Whoa, Columbia sells. Got it. Trisha, I have a whole box. Do you want me to get into Columbia? I have a whole box here, Columbia. Um, yeah, I'm coming to Florida. So we're driving to Nashville, staying with my sister-in-law, um, watching some basketball tonight, driving to Florida, probably Gainesville, Lake City, somewhere up there to stay the night before we go on our cruise the next morning. So whenever we go on a cruise, we like to drive because that cruise is going to leave without you. So if you fly and it gets delayed or something, you're toast. If you guys know, you know. So yeah, going on a cruise and it'll be great. Kids are going with us and we are going to send them to the kids club as much as we can. We love our kids very much, but we also love ourselves and mommy, daddy, adult time. These are theory pants. I don't buy a lot of theory it's super expensive at Nordstrom's. They still sell it. Nordstrom's, Nordstrom's Rack. Really high-end expensive brand, but the resale value is garbage. Um, but I did pick these up because they are those like polyester spandex nylon pants. 
I'm telling you, in any brand, for the most part, that's like a decent brand, these type of pants do well. You know, it's like uh, bird dogs and uh, bird dogs, right? Yeah, bird dogs. I only get all bird shoes and bird dogs. Bird dogs, Lululemon built. They all making these pants now. So what's up, Amy D? I just sold Theory Polo. Kit Kat, how much did you get for that Theory Polo? So I got twenty five sixty four for these. Auto posture sale number one. I should get a pencil. I don't have one. Who cares? Who has a pencil anymore in the first place? I have a pen. All right. So what we're gonna do? All right. I'm gonna put AP on here. I'm gonna see how many. I'm curious to know. AP versus AP. We had 22 eBay sales. 21, 22, something like that. AP. One. All right. So that sold for. 2564. 2564. I don't price anything at that. That's how I know it's an auto posture sale. Uh, what cruise line? We're going on Carnival. We're going, if you I mean you guys can try to hop on, but it's completely packed. There's not one room available, so you can't come stalk me, even though I know no one would want to do that. But we're going on Carnival Mardi Gras. Carnival Mardi Gras. And we called last night about dinner stuff. Every room's booked. I couldn't believe it. So, yeah, that's sold for – what? That's going out in priority padded flat rate. It's going out – I don't know why I made it priority flat rate, but they pay for it. I don't. Um, $20, paid six seventy two sold locally, so no fees. Good. Kit Kat. But, yeah, $20 for a polo. And that polo is probably like $80. I don't know why Theory is just such a not good reselling brand. Good morning, Barbara from South Bend. Barbara. South Bend, Notre Dame. You guys have seen the movie Rudy, right? I know you have. If you haven't, get on out of my life. But, yeah, what's up from Notre Dame? South Bend is in Notre Dame, Indiana. That's probably a trivia question you can ask someone this weekend. Where is Notre Dame located? Guarantee no one will know that. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Casey. Nashville, enjoying our town? Yeah, I'm, I want to go to Nashville. I'm thrift. Actually, last night I was talking to the boys we were talking about thrifting in Nashville at some point, but uh, no, we're just we're just going to uh, Kentucky near Nashville, actually like an hour outside of Nashville, so Western Kentucky and staying the night and then driving through Nashville. So yeah, so Leon, maybe do you have to uh, do you have to do your taxes? Yeah, so Leon, I have a CPA. I pay for a CPA. I've been selling on eBay since um, twenty or two thousand and one. And I started getting a CPA in like 2011, I think, around that time is when I got a CPA to do my taxes because then I was making really bigger money on eBay. And I wanted to make sure I had all my um, T's crossed, my I's dotted. So, yeah, definitely have to do taxes on uh, eBay. And next, this past year, they were going to say if you made $600 or more, you were going to get 1099 and they left it at 20000 or more, 1099 So I'm sure there's a lot of people – not reporting. Uh, let's see. Go Irish. GM from Philadelphia. What's up? Good morning, Leon. Good morning. Good morning, Audra. What's up? Did you live thrift with your dad? If so, I missed it. Will you post? I can post it, but it probably is inappropriate. But yeah, I can post that. Um, I'll have to download it. But yeah, I did live thrift yesterday. It was really quick. He had to go to a place here in Indianapolis called Beef and Boards where you uh, go and watch a play and eat. I mean, it, a bus full of old people got out when I dropped him off. It's the, one of those types of places. Good luck. Uh, drove through Nashville yesterday. It gets worse every time. I know it gets worse. We're going to leave early tomorrow morning. I guess it would be. So leave this afternoon, drive five hours to her house tomorrow morning. I've driven to Florida a bajillion times, a bajillion times. When I was in college, I used to drive all the time. Uh, let's see. Can I still look at Poshmark's? Can I still look at your Poshmark store while you're gone? Need to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Adventure in you. You're, what, you're not doing anything wrong. My Poshmark store, I have no idea if it's going to be open. Audra's here. Audra will know. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. You can look at my eBay store and see. So everything's everything's at surfsupfinds.com. I'm, I'm legit like that. I made my own website and paid for it myself. And so you can see like auto posture, $5 off auto posture. And you can see like. My eBay store and all that sort of stuff. I don't sell anything on there. I do not sell anything. 
but this is a G4. So the story behind this, this is a retail arbitrage. When I went on vacation in Chicago, I bought this. I bought like three or four of them. Here's the, here's the dealio. The dealio on this is I was asking $79.99. I got the offer this morning for $55. I didn't want to play the back and forth game because then I might be gone when they accept the offer. So I'm like, you know what? I'll take $55 because I know I'm going on a cruise. I'm like, I'll be spending money. Might as well just take that $55 and go. Go. Uh, did y'all get the drinking pass? No. So actually, I don't drink. Believe it or not, the only thing I drink is monster. No. But yeah, I don't drink. So on cruises, they have my wife drinks, but she's not a big drinker anymore. She was in college. Um now on cruises to get a drink package, everyone in the cabin has to get it. So if my wife were to get the drink package on the cruise, which is like unlimited drinks or whatever, I would have to get it too since I'm in the cabin with her, you know, so people don't scam the cruise lines and get a whole bunch of stuff, bring it back to the room, that whole sort of thing. So everyone can share. So no, 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 uh, no drinking package for us. What I probably will get the diet, the diet Coke or whatever package, whatever that is. Yeah, Diet Coke's probably bad for me, but um, that's my caffeine. I don't think you can see pricing. Okay. Yes, you can see it. Uh, it will just say can't buy it right now. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, the Venture and you, you will be able to see it. It just, uh, you won't see, um, you just won't be able to buy anything. Uh, it says not available to purchase right now or the store's away, something like that. Yeah. So, that's what's going to, that's what it'll look like. Shopping in my reseller is for... Shopping in for my reseller breakfast. Oh, stopping in. Gosh. Well, Casey, you said you're going thrifting, so I was thinking shopping. But yeah, stopping in for your reseller breakfast. Come on in. Let's get this done. I have... So the plan today, guys, Polo Ralph Lauren, I tell you all the time, I really don't get these shirts very often, but if it's got a cool print, this black and white stripe always sells for me. Whenever I can find it, I don't know why, but this black and white always sells super quick. Listed it for $16.99 plus ship. Plan today. As all of you know, if you don't know new here, I list for my phone. So I list every single item I have for my phone. I take pictures on my phone and then I list for my phone. So I'm going to take, I probably already have 30 pictures on my phone. I'm going to take as many pictures today as I can. And then I'll have them ready for the drive down. I'll be able to list the whole drive down. Um, when my wife drives. So that will be that will be the deal there. Robert, these are going to Robert. That's how I do it. So I'll be able to list from my phone, take a ton of pictures today. Michael, what's up, Michael? Espinoza. Hey, Michael is also a former student. Why are all my former students in here? What's up, Michael? I saw Sam yesterday. I was watching you on YouTube on my big TV. Dang, Donna. Don't look at me. Oh, gosh. I couldn't imagine my face on a big TV. Gross. Uh, do, 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 do. We're staying in Nash on the way to Gulf Shores. There you go. Where are you? Where, Dan, where are you? So Gulf Shores. Gulf Shores. That's on um, that near Panama City. That's in Alabama. Gulf Shores is like just west, right? In Alabama. I got it. I think my descriptions are off. To be honest, Adventure New, when it comes to Poshmark, I honestly don't really, really know what I'm doing. I just go to Auto Posher and I cross list. And then I do on Auto Posher, it has like the shares and the offers tab. And I filled all that out. Um, and I just get sales. So I get offers sometimes, then I get sales. That's all I do. I don't do any special description. I don't do anything. I just literally click, click it. Oh, gosh, we got another sale coming in. I got to be careful. I got to be careful. Another sale. So I can't. I got to turn my eBay store off here soon um, so I don't get too many sales. Uh, what cruise line am I sailing? Uh, Carnival. 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 We've, we've done. We've been on every cruise line, I think. Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Carnival, and Disney. Um, all the ones that aren't for old people. And uh, Carnival for spring break is fun and it's great with the kids because they have the great kids club that's free and a Disney cruise will break your bank. Just saying. All right. 
pair of cleats going out. You guys know the deal on these. If you've been watching me, bought them all for ten dollars, sold them for forty a piece. Bake it so you make it. That's what I'm talking about. Bake it so you make it. Panhandle. Uh, what iPhone do you use to take pictures? So I've been doing that my entire reselling since 2016. Ever since I've done clothing, I've only used my phone. So whatever model was out in 2016, and I upgrade every two years. So um, right now I have, I don't have the latest iPhone. I have, so this fall I'll be getting the newest. So my iPhone's like a year and a half old. But yeah, I use an iPhone. What else would I use? Like the best phone in the world. iPhone Pro Max. Uh, and yeah, take all my pictures from my phone. I literally list from my phone. It's really quick for me. Next item uh, is going overseas. Okay, so this sold overseas. I just posted on my Instagram. So I, I listed that. I know I posted a video about this, but you guys know I don't list stuff right away. Listed this and it sold within 24 hours. Um. They were all $50, like every single one that were sold were $50. So I listed mine at $50 and it sold for $50 in less than a day. So Windows 95 Video Guide, VHS. What? Pretty cool sale. I paid $299 or $199 for it. But I, that's going international. I need to get us, I need to make a special box for that. Disney always takes my money. Disney's good at that. I saw some guy like a TikTok or Reel or something where a guy is coming back and then he sees his Disney bill. You guys have probably seen it. It's like dra it like drains. Can't be like about faints. That's about how it goes with Disney. You don't even realize it just hits so quick, especially with the bracelets. Tap, tap, tap a roo and it just takes your money. Uh, I know Michael, Pike High School Michael. I know. Um, Patagonia. Shorts, you guys know I got these from the Dick's Outlet. I'm not going to go through my retail arbitrage stuff a lot because you're like, I, you know, I, I, I don't, I want to know brands that I can resell and thrift. Patagonia is a good one. Uh, iPhone is junk. Steve, your comments probably delayed because you typed that from an Android. I didn't, you probably typed that 25 minutes ago. Just saying. I've been on 14 Carnival cruises. Let's go, dear magnet. I have, I'll tell you how many I've been on. I'll have to look. You guys are going to be like, you lie. I lie about everything, right? I lie about my age because I look young. Let me see. Carnival. Carnival Cruises. Uh, John. Cruises. Okay, I've been on. One, two, let's see. Carnival Cruises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen cruises. And the first two cruises I went on were the celebration, which isn't in service anymore. And they've made a new ship called the celebration now. Isn't that crazy? Um, going to Disney in two weeks. Trisha, you are going to Disney. Have fun, girl. Um, go on Gar Guardians of the Galaxy. It's the best ride, period. Best ride, period. Uh, yeah, and the panhandle. Uh, Macari has done away with seller fees. It's been interesting to see if Poshmark follows suit. Yeah, obviously that's the big news. I had like a million messages yesterday about it. I'm starting Macari when I get back. I didn't want to start it right now before I go on spring break. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cross list over with Auto Posher, and I'm going to get a feel. I'm going to do like 50 items or 100 items, get a feel for the shipping and all that stuff. Um, but Bearded just started like a month ago. He's getting a ton of sales. The thing is, I think Makari with the zero fees, I think they just want to get more people on their platform. It could be just a, a, a limited time thing. We'll see what happens. You never know. Um, but I've been around long enough that there's, you know, it might just be a, a thing to get everyone over there. Poshmark, you know, if they don't, um, if they change the fees to that permanently, it's going to put a lot of pressure on Poshmark for sure. Uh, eBay is still king, and I still think eBay will always probably charge what they do. Or, um, But, yeah, I think it will definitely put pressure on Poshmark for sure. iPhone, iPhone jokes, I know. What's up, Felix? Felix, did you stay on much longer last night? How did I find your store? How do I find your store on uh, Poshmark? Cindy Pay. I don't know. 
it surfs up finds everywhere. So every single platform, social media, whatever surfs up finds. What I need to do is attach my Poshmark store to my website. So I have my eBay store attached to my website, but I don't have my Poshmark store. So morning, morning K. Will you stop auto posture from sending offers when you're gone? I'm going to, I'll have to see that. I'll have to look. Uh, I'm going to have to look into that today. I usually do on eBay. Um, it's just on auto. It's on Poshmark. Am I going to stop it? I've always done it on eBay, but yeah. Do you go alone on the cruise? No. What's up, Joe? Joey? I'm doing all right. Let's get to the next order. All right. We're going to have to box this one. Only one box. I don't know about you guys, but I love spring and summer because don't start saying D in the box, um, but I'll say it. But yeah. Very few boxes I ship out this time of year. Almost everything's in poly millers, which is really great when you're going to the post office, just because you're not, you don't have to carry a lot of bags or whatever. Poly mailers are also just so easy to box. This little piece of tape has a thing on it. So this is a hat. Right now I'm taping up a box for a hat. It's an eight by six by four. These are the perfect hat boxes for build hats. Another Travis Matthew bought these for five, sold them for 20. So yeah, what's up, Amy? I know, I know, I always say it. It's a pretty small box. <laughs> Listen, it looks, the box, come on, the D in the box. I know it looks small in person, but I'm showing you the length, eight inches, eight inches. Just saying, eight inches. You can get to know me. If you if you just now are following me from yesterday or some other time, you can get to know me now. Uh, good morning, Tej. What's up, Tej? Tej has been gone, but I actually Tej super active all of a sudden. I will come up, sir, sub. Will you come up? Um... It will come up. Okay, good to know. Macari is now going to allow returns for any reason. I know, Barbara. The thing is, though, I'm used to returns. It's probably going to, I don't know, if scammers or whatever, but I'm used to returns. I've sold on eBay for forever. So I, I guess Mercari was a place where, like, people could sell a lot of fake stuff and get away with it. So we'll see. What's up, People Pie? There are always so many crazy names out there. I love that. People Pie. What's up, People Pie? It's the outer dimensions. No, it's even if it were the outer dimensions, it'd be seven and seven eighths. Come on, geez, God, what do we have to do for you guys? Geez, we're like Lady Gaga said, we're just born this way. Good gosh, it's going to Brad though, it's not going to this person. This is going, I'm I totally messed up. You guys had me had me going. So what I think I did, I put that international shipping order on a bag. Yeah. So this bag right here is the international shipping order label. It doesn't have anyone's name on it, but I put it in this bag and Gerald should have had this bag. So that's what's happened. Uh, have you, uh, have you told us lacrosse shorts? Uh, you told the lacrosse short story to anyone. If you told the lacrosse, what, the lacrosse short story. What's up, Kings? Um, what? Are you, I'm not sure what you're talking about. We told the la, lacrosse short story. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, I did play lacrosse. That's what you're talking about. All right, that's going out the door. I mean, diagonally, it's bigger than eight inches. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's the dimensions. Diagonally, it is bigger. Right? They say like your palm to your into your fingertip is what they say. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. It's getting awkward now, right? It's just getting awkward. So this is the international shipping label. I'm just going to put it on here. I know it goes out to this person. I just need to find a box that will fit that. It's awkward. You know, it's a VHS. I don't want to put it in like a padded because uh, it's going international. I want to make sure it's going good. All right. New with tags. Oh, let's go back. So we had that one auto posture sale. Um, that has been the only one until now. So another one. So that's two, two out of 20, whatever so far. And these are just, uh, retail arbitrage. I'm not going to talk about them because it's retail arbitrage. Went to one of my favorite Goodwills yesterday and they started raising prices. 
Sounds about right, Joy. They will, it will be a cycle. There will be the ebbs and flows, right? They'll lower it. They'll raise it. They'll end up lowering it. Just like, this is a great example, retail arbitrage. When I can buy Nike golf shorts, brand new with tags for $10, and the thrift stores are charging $10, it's going to catch up to them pretty quickly, and they're going to drop their prices. Our thrift stores did that about a year and a half ago, and a lot of them have already started dropping their prices. Uh, the suburbs still price all their Under Armour Nike up, but the other stores don't. Um, Mr. Double Ralph Lauren himself. That is me. I will take that name. I will take that name. Good morning, Christine. Uh, I'm going to miss you while you're gone. You're my motivation to keep listing rather than becoming a hoarder. <laughs> well, yes, keep listing. Don't save stuff unless it's a really cool antique that might go up in value. That's different. Uh, or you could buy it and then sell it for the same amount later. That's a totally different story. Um, but yeah. I appreciate you, but yeah, I got to, I got to leave, got to take a little vacation, but I'll be back. And when I come back, you're going to come on here and you're going to say, I did so well without you. I listed so much. I sold so much, all of that good stuff. Just trying to stop the false advertisements. Casey, it's not false. I mean, just saying. All right. So that was an auto posture sale. This next one was an auto posture sale too. It's a retail arbitrage. So go to retail stores. Buy stuff on clearance and resell it online for a profit. This is a Puma polo shirt. And to be honest, I don't buy Puma really too much anymore if it's in used condition. I used to quite a bit, polo and golf stuff, but not anymore. Uh, it just doesn't perform well. God, D in, a, D in a box and not performing well. Lots of things going through my head. Uh, the P shorts. Oh, plants with coffee. Just sold a Travis Matthew Blazer for $200. Travis Matthew Blazer for $200. That is awesome. Um, the P shorts. I know. If you guys saw that short, I know it was very, very short, but I had to post it because it's just nasty. Lacoste Gingham Check Swim Trunks. Really good condition at $1.99. And I just happened to look in, and there was a big, giant P mark. Nasty. Yeah, don't worry. I used hand sanitizer after. Can you tell the average price on the item you buy to sell? Yeah. So Alex, my average, when I go thrifting, which are like 95% of my sales right now, my average cost of goods is $5 and 25 cents. Um, my average sell selling price will go down as the spring and summer comes because I'm selling shorts and polos for around $20. Whereas in the fall and winter, I'm selling boots and coats and jeans and everything for more money. Um, but yeah. So Florida, Mary, um, I'm going to ask which Goodwill do you dislike the most in our area? Joy? Oh, man. That's hard to tell. I don't know. Some of the some of the ones on the north side of Indy that have really jacked up their prices bother me. They get really good stuff, but they jack up their prices. I don't like that. I definitely like the inner city. I like the people. I like I like the prices. They're, they're not packed. You can find good stuff. They'll bring out a rack and the stuff will go on the actual, um, like, I guess they'll bring out a cart and they'll put stuff on the actual racks and it'll be there for the whole day. So it's not like a mad rush fighting people type of stuff. Um, great. Now I got to go to your store and see what they are. You can. My Goodwill chain, uh, my Goodwills don't change. They overprice the items they want to. Other items are set price. Harbor Fines. That's kind of how ours are. They can price their shoes however they want. Um, and then also like North Face and Columbia, they can price that kind of stuff however they want. Uh, there's a cap of around $20, though, I think. And then everything else is set price. So that's how I know my average cost of goods at $5.25 because my shorts are $3.99, my shirts are $4.99, jeans are $7.99, uh, and it all averages out to $5.25. And when I do taxes, that's kind of how I base my taxes around uh, that price. It's pouring in Massachusetts. Well, no uh, no thrifting at the flea market for you or flea marketing today. Good morning, Candace. Uh, Greenwood is good. Mary, Greenwood's too far for me. So in the city I live in, um, on the north side, in the like the middle of the city and up, there are probably 18 Goodwills. And then on the south side, there are probably like three. So that's 
it makes more sense for me to stay up. Taking the Tesla to Florida? No way. No way. We have a minivan. We have a minivan. Don't my wife is embarrassed by it, but we drive a minivan. Okay. So padded flat rate. Here's a carbon to cobalt. Speaking of Felix, speaking of Chicago. Um, I got this in Chicago. Carbon to cobalt. This is like a denim shirt. Carbon to cobalt. I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but it's a really good, it's it's a great bread and butter brand. It's I think it's out of style, but people still buy it. So I'm gonna still sell it. That's how that goes. It's freezing in Oklahoma. Ooh. That's not good. It's cold here. We had frost on the ground. So, hey, Mercari, man. What's up, Lindsay? I'm not on Mercari yet, but I will be soon. I think I just ran out of padded flat rate, so I'm going to have to grab some. Did you sell ev- Do you sell everything? Blessed. I will sell almost anything that I that I can buy cheap and, and sell for more money. In fact, I bought a car in 2018. It's gone up in a ton of value. It's a toy car, and I just sold it last week. Uh, do you know if Ethan Bank stopped his podcast? Thanks. I'm not sure. Lots of posh. I'm not sure. He hasn't been on social media. He quit doing social media. I don't know. I can ask him. But yeah, I haven't seen a podcast out from him. So you can probably type on one of the In The Loop podcast channels and see if they're still doing it. But yeah, not taking the Tesla to Florida, taking the minivan. Tesla's, it, they'll map it out for you, but you have to send in a charging station for 30 minutes. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I'm going to grab this. show you guys i'll go ahead and show you i don't know but i get my padded flat rates in these boxes Boom. let's get a ton of them just get as many as you can there i live in florida mary so yeah i'm coming to florida but i'm only going to be in florida at a motel hotel for like a night i'm not a fan of greenwood one i don't like the outlet either yeah i don't like going to the outlets minivans are the best we call it the spaceship they are the best uh, we call it the spaceship because it literally like glows inside and has, it, I mean, it's got more, it's, it has ventilated seats. My Tesla doesn't have that. Um, do you whiten your teeth? I don't. People always, people have always asked me that. I really honestly think it's because I don't drink coffee. I, I don't know, but I think it's because I don't drink coffee. Okay. That's going out to Sam. Uh, no, that's going out to Randy. Did I already pull that sticker? Yeah, I pulled that sticker. Going out to Randy. That's why I double check. I double check everything. Uh, Ethan who? Felix says, Ethan who? Let me see. I found some military cargo pants and jacket the other day. Should I list them now or hold off? Um, Mary, If as always, I would list everything you have. If you have enough spring and summer inventory now that it's spring and summer, I'd list the spring and summer first. I just prioritize per season, but the thing is, military stuff will sell year round. So I would, I would definitely list it now. Um, that's a year round sale. We took a Tesla to Disney last month from Massachusetts. Yeah, um, I would. I mean, if that was our only car, and it would, it would be cheaper to do that. And I, I got new tires like a couple months ago on there. But uh, the minivan, going on the cruise, having all the luggage and everything, it's going to be more comfortable. Have the TV for the kids so they can watch it not bother us they say when are we there yet i'm gonna throw them out of the car uh do you prefer salvation army or goodwill goodwill people pie goodwill our salvation armies used to be my favorite and then after the pandemic they uh they just couldn't hire they weren't getting donations in fact they they closed like almost all of them uh it was quite annoying with charging yeah driving the tesla to disney yeah, it'd be annoying, but I'd do it, obviously. I could fit a sheet of plywood in the minivan with the back seats down. Can't beat it. I know, people pie. I know. I know. Minivans are where it's at. Minivans are where it's at. This is a weird... I got this because this brand is a good, like, wool. I think it's made in Scotland. Dongle. Uh, but, yeah, this is a very unattractive wool vest. But I knew it'd sell because of the brand. It sold for $19.99. I paid $3.99. Vest or $3.99 where I live. Uh, Ireland. Is it Ireland? Okay, it's Ireland. Not Scotland. Ireland. I know it was one of those lands. Somewhere over there. Tampa is nice. Yeah, Tampa is nice. That's where I went and uh, 
We're going to stay in uh, northern Florida just at a motel hotel, and then we're going to leave out of Port Canaveral. But, yeah, uh, we went. I went to Tampa area when I went and saw Ethan and Wayne. Ethan and Wayne. Actually, uh, met Dalton, too, but I didn't go down there to see him. All right. Next sale was a Brooks Brothers, which you guys know I only pick up the ones with the hit on the front. For the most part, those are the only ones I pick up. Uh, but I actually had to price this one down because it's missing a button right here. It sold it within a couple days, but I saw that the bus button was missing. There were no extra buttons, so I priced it down to $14.99. Usually I sell these for like $21.99, and it still sold at $14.99. I bought it for $5, so got it home, saw that the button was missing. I still listed it, um, didn't lose any money, made money still, even though it was a little bit. So... Best travel vehicle, so comfortable. Minivan truly says minivan's the best travel vehicle, so comfortable. I'm going to tell you right now, too. I mean, you guys know I'm straight up with you. You know, when you're sitting in a car for a while like that, and it could warm up a little bit, you, you kind of start getting a little bit of that. You get a little bit of that swamp ass, right? A little bit of swamp ass, just saying. With the ventilated seats on the van, takes it right away. It's great. Great. Don't TMI me. I'm just telling you the honest truth. Why do they have ventilated seats? To prevent that, just saying, Hunter, why am I so messed up with these? Uh, why am I so messed up with these? Sam, Hunter. What's going on with me this morning? That's why I double check all this stuff. I need, a, I need a focus. Quit talking about swamp ass. All right, Sam. Okay, this is going to Sam. Uh, I live in Jacksonville, Florida. There you go, pretty. I know um, Trisha's still in here. She lives in Jacksonville as well. So Jacksonville. What's up, Lion Creek? Did you pop in? Um, pop, 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 pop. I like it. The Brooks, uh, the Brooks hit is called the Golden Fleece. Yes. So the Golden Fleece on the chest. I only pick Brooks Brothers up. I'm just going to tell you I only pick those up because when I start expanding that, then I don't want people to be like, I'm going to start picking up everything. But I will pick up Brooks Brothers just plain white button-up shirts. Definitely their tuxedo shirts. And I also will pick up Brooks Brother if they have the size 20 or 19 on the tag. Because that's like a 3XL. And those usually sell for me around $20. So those are the Brooks Brothers I pick up. But for the most part, I pick up the ones with the Golden Fleece logo or hit. I want to take a train. Yeah, uh, people do take trains. How much did that sell for, by the way? $14.99? Okay, that wasn't an auto posture sale. This was. So I don't pick up Hugo Boss Blazers anymore. Again, like Theory, a Nordstrom brand. They sell it at Nordstrom, obviously. But Hugo Boss just does not sell like it used to. Obviously, they do still sell. Some of the suits sell better than others. But I remember Hugo Boss selling. This blazer would have sold for like $74 when I first started reselling. I sold it for $39.92. So that was an auto posture sale. I don't have anything listed at $39.92. So someone took a best offer through auto posture. But yeah, so what I do with blazers, people have always asked me. I'll re-show you if you're new in here. Get the blazer. I fold it. I fold it so the buttons are in the front. And then I fold the sleeves in. And then I will give it a nice roll just because I don't want the buttons to get hurt in shipping. And I always ship blazers out in a... Uh, flat rate or padded flat rate envelope. Let me see what that's going in. Yep. You are such a guy. I know. I am such a guy. I don't, you know, that's, I'm not, listen, listen. I am such a guy, but I was in elementary education, special ed, and taught in elementary school. Most of my, a lot of my friends are girls. A lot of my friends were girls or women, females, whatever. How many things do you sell approximately per day? JJ, um, I can tell you. Let's look. Well, now that I have Poshmark, maybe add two onto that a day. Well, let's look. All I have to do is go to my sold. So on my eBay app, I have 996 sold. So I'll divide that by 90 days because that's 90 days. So um, right now, I'm guessing that's around 11, right? Around 10 or 11. Um, 996 divided by 90. Yeah, 11. 
11, about 11 on eBay a day. And then add two more to that now with Poshmark. So about 13 a day. But it, I really want to be at like 15 to 30 a day, to be honest. But it is what it is. Do you print out your labels all at once? Yeah. So Casey, I print out all my eBay labels at once. So eBay is not, you know, I go through my phone. Everything's on there. Um, and I just uh, grab everything and bring it over and then print out all my labels at once. So I'm going back to my sold page so I can pick up where I left off. So that blazer sold for $39.92. I paid $7.99 for it. Here is a Grayson polo that is a size small, and it has a golf course on the side of it on the sleeve, but it's just a really nice print. Um, stripes with the floral. This sold for $32.88. It is a size small. I priced it just a bit lower, but Grayson's still a great brand. I'm sorry. I should show you if you're new, but you want to look for that little guy right there, little wolf. And then, the, of course, the tag will say Grayson, but yeah, look for the little wolf. Uh, for a beginner, would you suggest Posh or eBay or both with cross posting auto posture? Um, truly, I would say, I can tell you this with auto posture and cross listing, I list my stuff on eBay. I think Wayne does the same KY shop list the stuff on eBay and then cross list it from there. I don't have to add anything. If I were to list on Poshmark and list to eBay, cross list to eBay, I'd have to go in and add a couple things. From eBay to Poshmark, I have to add nothing. All I have to do is click submit. Click it, submit. Click it, submit. I can I can show at the end of this how that would work. But yeah, I list on eBay and cross list to all the other platforms. Uh, how often do you source at yard sales? Uh, if you do, what percentage of sales, uh, yard sales goods? So... I do like garage sales and yard sales, but I really don't get much done. less than 1% of my inventory by far come from those just because um, I feel like I waste more time. If I do my thrift route, I can hit a lot of stores, but with, with garage sales, it's like a, a flip of a coin, depending on like if they have good stuff or not. Some of them are really, really good. Obviously we get good stuff. Others um, are not great. So I do like them. And the only times I really go to them are if I'm driving somewhere and I see a sign, I'll, I'll turn in and go to it. But I don't go seeking them out. What's up, blue collar? All right, that's going to Malik. Malik got that one. And then the next items were a bundle deal. Uh, I want to make sure I'm up on the chat. Where do you get the flat rate poly mailers? Um, so they're flat rate. So these you have... I don't know if I have any um I don't know if I have any flat rate envelopes here, but I have the flat rate padded envelopes. You just create an account on USPS.com and they send this stuff free to your house. So all my shoe boxes that you see me ship in, um, these Tyvex envelopes that I'll be packing Poshmark stuff in, it all sends free to your house. But these you have to send the items and how they were um, supposed to be sent. So this is a flat rate envelope. So when you do shipping on eBay, you have to, you have to make sure it's on padded flat rate envelope. If you do priority, it's not going to work. If you do ground, you're going to get in trouble. It has to go on a padded flat rate envelope when you list it. So that's how that works. Um, a card took away all selling fees and just charges $2 cash out fee. Now. Yep. That's what they do. Tampa toy. And just think, if you cash out like once a week or once a month or once every two weeks, however it is on Mercari, depending on like your sales, if it's not your biggest platform, what, you only get that $2 fee on, you know, I probably don't plan to take money out of there very often. So hamburger or hot dog fold, which do you prefer? Hamburger or hot dog fold? How about just a hamburger or hot dog? I like hamburgers better than hot dogs. All right, here we go. Someone bought both of these. Really, really eccentric i guess style because we have vintage abercrombie and fitch shorts right here with the little fuzz on them so vintage abercrombie and fitch shorts anytime you see like a red tag like that that would be vintage um vintage abercrombie and shorts with a pair of new nike golf shorts very eccentric very eccentric uh okay i want to make sure i'm answering all your questions as they come in 
I do great at estate sales. Yes. So many of you know, my dad used to run estate sales. That's how I got into the business way back when. And that's when I started learning eBay. He didn't know how to do the internet. So like when I was in high school and in college in the early 2000s, 2000, like four is when I really started vamp ramping up eBay. Um, yeah. So he would go get estate sales. He'd get the key to the estate. Then I would get stuff from the estate sales. I would have first dibs on whatever they price. So it was great. I, so that I used to sell hard goods and antiques. That's all I sold. Never clothing, never sold clothing. And then when that dried up, I went to clothing and now estate sales are a little bit harder for me. Um, because people are real, at least around here, the estate sales that I find people will price up their items. So they will, they will go to eBay. They'll see that a pair of short self or, a Let's say a piece of Lalik sells for a hundred dollars. They're going to put a hundred dollars on it. So I do love estate sales though, but at those same estate sales, a lot of them don't care about clothing. Um, I remember my dad, like every piece of clothing, they would just put a sheet on the wall. Every book is 50 cents or a dollar. Every piece of clothing is a dollar, stuff like that. Um, so I'll teach you didn't get it. Oh, what'd you say? Oh, hot dog or, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get that one. It's over my head. Things I learned today: D in a box, swamp ass, and pass on stained bathing suits. Lion Creek. Lion Creek. By the way, he has been selling on eBay as long as me, or maybe longer. I started in 2001. I think he said he started in like 1999 or 2000. Um. So he was talking about selling a moped. I've sold cars on eBay. So I've sold just. We we have sold a lot of. We have a lot of similarities with eBay back in the old days where it used to be had like cashier's check. So someone bought both of those one at 2374, the other one at 2374. So those were both auto posture sales. So auto posture is going to get another couple checks. And what I did, I packed them together. I'm going to refund the difference in shipping cost. So those cost him $6 and 60 cents a piece. So I will refund him probably six dollars and sixty cents because I think that only cost me six bucks with the discount, even though it's heavier. Making sure it's going to Jason. It is going to Jason. Very deep. No, I'm just kidding. I've been on eBay since 2004. Let's go, Dan, Indiana. Have you been selling since then on eBay? Uh, where do you keep track of your cost of goods? So what I do is when I go to a thrift store. Um, how many items I have and then how much I spent. And then that's how I do it. I divide it. My average item is 525. So whenever, however many items I sell, my average cost uh, of good was 525, my buy cost um, on all my thrifted items, on all my thrifted items. Uh, Tampa, not great for customers though. Macari passes the transaction fees on to the customer. Yeah, we'll see. That's why I'm going to test it out. I'm going to keep on doing my job, which is listing on eBay every single day, um, 15 or more items a day. That's my main job. My side hustle is to cross list the Poshmark and cross list the Macari. I wasn't doing that before. eBay was paying my bills. So I just added a couple more side hustles on and we'll just see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. So those shipped out together. Um, the next item is actually a uh, patchwork. So I like buying patchwork shirts that are polo Ralph Lauren Orvis like this. Um, I'm trying to think Brooks Brothers makes them. Even J. Crew makes them. But each individual patch that you see is sewn on separate. These do pretty well. Sold for $21.99. Polo Ralph Lauren will sell for like $50. Uh, is there a good market for signed sports memorabilia? I found a pair of Lynn Swan Pittsburgh Steelers practice pants and a state sale years ago. Where would you try to sell those? So with sports memorabilia, if it's signed, it, it might not be worth it depending on how much it sells for, but you might want to get it um, to send it into PSA. You can go to PSA on Google and you can see the pricing on how much it, it costs to get um, sent in and authenticated. So they will authenticate the item. I've done it a lot of times. You can get cards graded, which means like how good a condition, if they're in better condition, they go for more, more money. Um, but if, if, the, if it sells for like $100 signed, it's probably not worth it to send it into PSA. You can just list it as signed. I have a, I think I still have it. I might have sold it. A Jalen Rose signed jersey. 
Um, I didn't send it in a PSA. I just put um, Jalen Rose signed jersey. But this is twenty one ninety nine. I don't know how much that thing sells for. So I'd be curious to know. Uh, yes, but I started reselling more in the past five years. Yeah. I mean, definitely. I always did estate sale stuff, but I, I probably sold on average like 10 items a week throughout the year. But what, since doing clothing, obviously it's like 10 items or more a day. Uh, again, that's going, making sure it's going the right person. It is. So $5 for that sold for $21.99. I've had that since last year. I posted this on Instagram yesterday. Tommy jeans. Uh, these are definitely like from the late 90s, early 2000s. And what sold these, I think, are just that really, really wide leg. That really, really wide leg at the bottom. Skater, the, the inseam is in really good condition. No, like, heel drag or anything. These sold for a best offer of $45. So, yeah, best offer. Prices on Turnbull. Oh, yes, Turnbull and Asher. I'm actually going to pin that one to the top because that's a bolo. So, turn. Turnbull and Asher is a really good uh, brand. I, I've only seen them in shirts. They might make suits and other stuff as well. But yeah, really good brand to be on the lookout for. I don't know. Each each shirt will have a separate comp. Like I'm sure if you find a, a tuxedo shirt, they probably go for a lot of money. But they're all really good. Really, really good. What's up? Good morning, De uh, Debbie. You should call them Madras. Yes. So a lot of times I'll put Madras in there. And the Polo Ralph Lawrence shirts will say Indian Madras. And if they say Indian Madras, I will put Indian Madras on there. But if they don't say it, I won't. Because I don't know if that is a specific a specific blend, uh, like a Laura Piana. I don't know. But some of them say uh, Madras and some of them don't. But you could put it in the title. I'm sure you won't get in trouble. I just don't want someone to be like, this isn't actually Madras. Sergio. Let's go to Sergio. Again. $7.99 for jeans and the 45 is Tommy Hilfiger back. I don't know. I sold a pair. We'll see. I would say look for Y2K really wide skaterish looking jeans. Um, do you sell do you sell many things internationally? So one out of 21 of these items are going internationally. It says Windows 95 D, uh, VHS. But yeah, um, so maybe like one to four percent of my items go internationally on eBay. If eBay buyer returns an item, does seller eat selling fees um, when the original sold? If eBay buyer returns an item, does seller eat selling fees when it originally sold? So no. If eBay returns an item or someone returns an item, let's say I sold an item and I don't have free returns and it does not fit them. So there's... They're shipping it back to me because it doesn't fit. Um, I will get refunded the full price of the item I sold plus the eBay fees on the item. They will get charged the first shipping to them and the shipping back. So they'll they'll get stuck with those charges. If that helps your, answer your question. Early 2000s, eBay was elite. eBay is still elite i would say ebay is still the top but yeah um there are a lot more scammers back then too tommy is coming back heavy well that's good to know i mean those have been sitting and they sold so it's definitely coming back definitely coming back obviously i just tell these i uh if you saw a short of mine or a reel of mine recently you saw i picked up 10 pairs of adidas shorts most people pass up on these they're 3.99 but when i find that 365 all the way around um, Adidas waistband like this. I pick them up, sold these for $18.99 plus ship. I found 10 of them, all of them the same size. So all I had to do was change the color in the item specifics and change the pictures. So I listed one, took me about three minutes to list one. And everyone after that probably took me 30 sec, 15 to 20 seconds. Um, would you pick up new with tags Patagonia hats for fifteen dollars ish? Ooh, I'd have to look up the comps. That's a, I don't know for fifteen. I don't think so. I probably wouldn't for fifteen. They'd have to sell for me for around forty dollars, forty five dollars for me to sell them, and that'd be a lot for a hat. So probably not for fifteen. 
Like those Travis Matthew hats I bought for five each. So I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I could do that. Don't think I could do that. All right. Next. Uh, thanks for answering. Getting a large amount of offers on jewelry from China mostly. Okay. For international sales. The really good thing about eBay International, and it's better than it's ever been. You ship it. It used to be called the Global Shipping Center. Now it's just called like International or something. But you don't have to deal with anything. Once it ships there, you'll never hear about it again. If the buyer on the other side of the world says it didn't fit or whatever, eBay takes care of it. They they will refund them or refund us. We'll never get a return from overseas. We won't. We can't get really negative feedback. All of it is pretty much you ship it and you never hear from it again uh, if you ship stuff overseas. Jewelry is, is an iffy thing. I, when I used to sell jewelry or watches, um, really, really high-end items on eBay, like items that were like four or $5,000 items, t sterling silver tea sets, I'd always put in the description, I will not sell to anybody with um, less than... 50 positive feedback or something like that. It's, it was my stipulation. And I, I, that's just what I did because I didn't want people to buy it with zero feedback and then try to pull some shysty. So that's what I did. Um, these are a pair of North Face. Again, retail arbitrage. Sold these for $23.99. Again, I, last week or earlier this week, I sold a pair of North Face used nylon shorts just like these that I they were like green or something. They sold for $23. The only reason these sell for more money or less the same money is because they made too many of these. And um, where I retail arbitraged them, they were all over. Lion Creek knows what I'm talking about. Um, I'm actually having my first international sale the other day. Casey, you, you will not get that back. I think that style looks madras. Gotcha on those. Um Ooh, eBay will always be king uh, with their international. That's true. I mean, that international is is big. If you can get those international sales, and I mean, listen, eBay market cap is the largest out of all of them. Mercari, Poshmark. I mean, they just they have the most money. They have the most experience. They have the most uh, money to back people and uh, advertise and everything. I mean, they're they're just king. So. It's just what it is. It is what it is. Let's see. Those are nice shorts. Would you accept a return that is over 40 days and it's uh, and it's a winter coat? No. So my return policy is 30 days from when they receive it. Um, after 30 days, I will not uh, accept a return. So nope. 30-day return policy, I'm pretty sure it's what I have. After they receive the item, if they come in later on and want to return it after 40 days, no. Especially winter coat, no. It's it's all of a sudden getting warmer out and you want to return that? That's that's weird. Would you accept a return? Okay. Do you ever do auction on eBay? If so, what items? I do. I do. So a lot of my shorts, truly, if you look at some of my, not shorts, but like my reels or whatever, I do. I show a lot of auction things. Um if I find a really rare, unique item, and I used to only run auctions, really rare, unique item that a lot of people are looking for, I'll run an auction on them. For example, with clothing, maybe a pair of Jinko jeans that I bought for $3.99. I'll run an auction on those. Um, a Kuji sweater, I don't care. I'll run an auction on those. I think it's fun. Um, let's say if it's a hard good, if it's uh, something from World War II, um, Americana from World War II that's super rare, unique, I'll run an auction on those. Uh, things like that, especially things that I get at a really, really low buy cost. I'll run an auction on them and I'll just let the price discovery find it. Blue collar. Thank you. Um, do you fill in the item specifics on eBay? Um, it's so much to put in. Yes. Yeah, so I talked about that the other day a little bit and you probably weren't in here, which is fine. $27.99. I really regret not buying more of these. Thanks, Pamela. I regret not buying more of these at the outlet or at the, uh, the big sale that they had, the clearance sale. Um, I just, Adidas shorts, $27.99. I, I don't know. I just, I spent a lot of money and I was, I wasn't sure how to, if I were to recoup that very well. And I did. And I wish I would have bought more. 
You are king. No, Chase Scott. You are. International is great on eBay. Yeah, Felix loves international, I bet. Okay, answer your question. On eBay, item specifics. So on eBay, item specifics. What I do is I find a sold comp. Let's say if it's an item that I don't have or I haven't sold. Uh, I will find a sold comp. I will sell similar. And a lot of the item specifics are already filled out. I'll do a quick glance. I mean a quick glance. Uh, if it's the same size, if it's the same color, pattern, everything, I'll just take a quick glance just to make sure they're all the same. You have to go into the item specifics only to do pre-owned, new, or whatever. Pre-owned. And that's all I do. Um, for example, if it's a pair of jeans in the item specifics, they might have their actual measurements. I'll delete those. But I don't fill out a ton of item specifics. And so now once I've listed that L.L. Bean that I've never listed before, now it's in my store, and if it sells, I'll have 90 days to go back and look at it. So if I find another LL Bean, I'll go to my current listing. I will sell similar of my listing. Everything, All my shipping, everything will be the same. I'll just change the pictures, the size, and the items, uh, the item specifics. Um, but I, in the description, I don't put anything, too. So what I was talking about the other day was look at your, look at your listing process. If it takes you... That's your. If it takes you a really long time to list items, what what takes you the most time? Is it filling out item specifics? If that's the case, what can you do to cut that time in half? Just on that one thing. If it's taking pictures, what setup can you invest in to make it quicker for you to take pictures? Um, what specific part? Just start with one part. What takes the longest amount of time? Try to cut that down. That part. Try to cut that down, and you'll you'll start seeing. You'll be more efficient, more efficient, and then you can go to other areas. I got two or three international. There you go. Uh, orders going out today. Hey, there you go. Two or three today alone. I'm going to mess you after a break. I get those cleats uh, and tea. Okay, yeah. What I'm going to do, if you want, message me today, and I'll I'll put them outside. I'll just message me today. Message me today. I got you today. Uh, awesome job. I don't know anything about international shipping. How do I know what shipping method to choose uh, when the item is shipped? Wolfman, what are you doing, Wolfman? Why would you do that? Um, I'll get back to that. So with international shipping on eBay, so easy. All you do is put in the exact same shipping method you ship. So this right here, this L.O. Bean that we're talking about, I'm shipping it ground advantage. It's 15 ounces. It's shipping out. That's it. Someone buys it overseas internationally, I ship it to the eBay shipping center just how I listed it. So it's going out. The only the only thing you see is when you look at the name right here, it will have like a place in Illinois to ship it to. That's the only difference you'll see. You don't have to go in and change anything. You don't have to repackage anything separately, fill out any other paperwork, nothing. You literally, it's just a regular, it's like a regular person. Um, in the States, but it just goes to an international shipping station and eBay takes care of the rest. When I tick the, uh, when I click the toggle for international shipping, there are options. Uh, I've, it's been a while since I've done it, but yeah, there probably are options. Um, I forget what they are. Wolfman gave me a super chat. You do not need to do that because I do not charge for any of that stuff on purpose. So I appreciate it, but you just coming in. Um, and saying good morning is good enough for me. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Wolfman's goodies. Um, rent my clothes and send it back is also no, I'm not a Walmart. They have been so many scammers now. Uh, I've been selling for five months and I got scammed three times. Yeah, I don't get scammed that often. So, do you have free returns? Do you like I make sure my pictures are on point, I make sure my measurements are in my picture. So, if someone says something doesn't measure right, it's clearly in the pictures. eBay will side with you. I just had a negative feedback removed uh, this week, actually. Is there an easy way to change all the eBay uh, listings at one time to ship internationally? Yeah, so you can go to bulk edit all your items. Um, I'd have to go in there with you. We can go in there. If you guys want to get on YouTube and Facebook in a minute, we can figure that out. I'll take into screen share and we can look at that. Uh, would you choose recommend shipping for international? Would you? Yeah, I would definitely. I recommend anyone doing international shipping. Been on the hunt for Jinko jeans. Javi, I'm always on the hunt. Um, 
Anyone else just have a great week with nearly no sales, no views, and got slammed with sales? Good for you. So anyone have a week this week with no sales, no views, and then just got slammed? You know, it's, it's the ebbs and flows. That's why when you have a bad day, no sales, zoom out. How has your week looked? Your week not look real well? Zoom out. How has your month looked? Probably pretty decent. Zoom out. Look at your 90 days. So when in doubt, just zoom out. Just like if you're exercising. Oh, this week I, I gained a pound. But in the past month, you've lost eight pounds. So it's been okay. All right, that's going out. Now we're going to do our Poshmark sales. We have five of them. But I do want to answer your questions. Good morning, Momo. Thanks for popping in. It cracks me up when I buy something made in China, uh, sell back to China. Yeah. They probably didn't have any. Uh, yeah, they, they probably made it, had no chance to buy it. Just got sent straight here. I'm always trying to find Jinkos. Trust me. Jinkos are a great pair. But you know what? The thing about Jinkos and all that sort of stuff I bought two pair of South Pole South Pole jean shorts yesterday that were Y2K. They'll probably sell for around $40 a piece. That's 80 bucks, right? And then a pair of that Tommy Tommy Hilfiger, that's another. That will add up to a pair of Jinkos. So you sell three or four items, that, good items, that adds up to a pair of Jinkos. Um, and that's the thing like with the the vintage t-shirt boys, as K-Way calls them. They, they will hunt and hunt and hunt for that $100 t-shirt when there's all sorts of items in a thrift store that you can make way more. At the same time you're spending, you can make $500. By the way, I don't know if you saw my picture yesterday. I went to a pawn shop and bought a really, really cool um, starter. New with tags. Uh, new with old tags. Like the sticker was, it looked like it was from Kohl's or something. Really, really old sticker on it. Good morning, Ohio in the house. Good morning. Uh, line crease soul hurts every time you ship or skip an, um, an item specific. No, it doesn't. He doesn't care about that. Um, the Adidas are 365s. That's how I call them. Good morning, Katie. Thanks for the surfboard. Appreciate it. Yeah, when you guys put a surfboard, it like catches my eye. Um, is the post office going to be open Friday? Uh, I don't know if it's going to be open Friday. Is it going to be open tomorrow, guys? Because it's what? Good. Is it? What, what's tomorrow? It's um, with the Easter, right? Holiday before Easter. I don't know. But um, I'm I'm sending stuff out today, all my orders. I won't be here tomorrow, so I'm not sure. Uh, when you update your shipping policy, it updates all your listing. There you go. When you update your shipping policy, Audra says it updates all your listings. So there you go. Good morning, Barry. Uh, good morning, everybody. The head, Lou. Uh, the T-shirt boys at the bins are different breed they are a different breed they can have at it literally i go there and they pass over you know they pass over really good stuff but i have been seeing a lot of those guys well i can't say because i'm going to the bins but i've talked to him one of my buddies and he said some of their friends they now will pick up lululemon and things at the bins take it to plato's closet and sell it to plato's closet uh i think my issue is consistency let's talk about it what's a pretty good life it's, it's Joel. It's pretty good resales. It's pretty good life. Peace. Um, the post office is going to be open Friday. Um, I think my issue is consistency. Consistency is key, um, right? In any business, you go into work, you do your reports, or you teach your kids every day in class. You teach them to be consistent. It's the same thing on eBay. So you got to be consistent. Uh, and I that's why I also like having auto posture too, because it Sends out all those offers and everything. I don't have to do that. Otherwise, I'd send out offers every day. Uh, yes. Post office is open tomorrow. Good Friday. Yeah, good Friday. I didn't want to say like good Friday without it not for sure being good Friday. Um, absolutely. What is what is up? Hey, hey Ron, good morning. I mean, good morning. I, I always mess up when I'm typing. Uh, Big Sweaty Meep. What's up, Big Sweaty over there on Tiki Taki or on, yeah, Instagram. Golf polo selling, Callaway golf polos do sell sometimes. So Callaway golf polos with the big Callaway hit on them, those sell pretty well. Uh, let's get over to Poshmark sales real quick. Okay, I just sold another polo, so I'm going to have to get that shipped out. And I just got an offer that I'm not going to take. It's on a blazer. I have it listed for $180. They offered $80. So I will decline that. And 
I'm not going to go back and forth with people knowing I'm going to turn my store off or on vacation mode here probably around like noon. So I'm not going to, if people offer me at offers, I'm not going to go back and forth with them. I'm just going to disregard them. All right. We're going to put stuff back over here. We can talk about our sales. I do not pick up Oakley polos anymore. Oakley, we just talked about Callaway night, uh, Callaway golf polos. I don't pick up Oakley anymore. So Oakley is now sold at Costco. Not all of it. There is There are probably lines that are sold at Dick's and other places that are expensive. But they just did not sell for me last season. So I've lowered the prices. And I'm taking really any offers I get on these Oakleys now. I buy them for $5. We'll go over to Poshmark and see how much I actually sold those for. I, it wasn't much. $14. Sold them for $14. Bucks. So how about Wilson, Wilson short sleeve polos? Uh, with the Wilson hat. I don't sell anything Wilson. I don't sell anything Wilson. I would say Callaway polos. I pick up one out of every 200 I see, if that. Um, tips on talking to women. You're asking the wrong dude. You're asking the wrong dude. I've always just been myself. And that's probably, I don't know, that's a good thing or a bad thing. So that sold for $14. Dang it, guys, forgot to tell me. Look, Poshmark sale. I just wasted 10 cents putting it in this. What the heck am I doing? Dang it. I keep forgetting with Poshmark. I'm such on an eBay brain mind. Oh, all right. There we go. I'm writing uh, this all down, guys. Yeah, I don't have any tips for that. What's up, Husky Mama? What's up, Shauna? Tips for talking to... Uh... Tips on talking to them and cash app them. They'll talk to uh, you. So that is that is probably a way. You got your sugar mamas. Joel, I'm not even, even going to talk about it. All right. J. Crew. J. Crew jeans. Um, these are 484. Style 484. These are, these are not a Japanese uh, denim. They're just a 484, which is a more desirable... Dark color, really good condition. Um, I had them listed, I think, for $22.99, and I just wanted them. I have this is what Poshmark's been doing for me. I keep saying this. I've had these on eBay for a long time. I cross list them, and they sell on Poshmark. So I took $17 for these. Again, super quick. Again, priority. Come on, priority. Do you have a draft built built a uh, draft bank built up for eBay? I will today. Usually, I like. I only have like a day's worth, to be honest. I don't. I don't. I've done that too many times. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one, a Abraham. Mm, good morning, Sammy. What do you mean by wasted 10 cents on Poshmark packing? Okay, so truly, on Poshmark, everything sends out priority, right? Everything's priority. Everything's priority. So you can put it in any priority. If it's under five pounds, you can put it really in any priority packaging. So this is free. Instead, I put it in one of my poly mailers that cost me around 10 cents. So I just wasted 10 cents by putting it in my own package instead of putting in something that was free. Good Friday, the best weekend God gave us. There you go, Audra. Uh, morning from Matt's Merch. What's up, Matthew Hunter? Matt's Merch over on YouTube. Hi, Sir Dixie. Hi. I have a bunch of Carhartt t-shirts that I like to bundle. How do you decide what to price bundles? Never done it before. I'll tell you that. I'll talk about that. Copy, copy. Um, got you. Thanks for coming over, A. Smith. Appreciate you over on Instagram. All right. Let's talk about it before I get with three more orders. Um, so when I do a bundle... Let's say a Carhartt t-shirt sells for $9.99 on eBay. When I do a bundle, if I had Carhartt t-shirts, I would bundle them all up where each one of them costs $7. Seven or $8, right? So um, I would bundle them up so where if you have five, you do five times seven. Um, I wouldn't do five times 10. I wouldn't do $50. I would do $35. Uh, if I had, this happens a lot for me. Um, if there are certain polos like Under Armour polos that sell for $15 a piece, I will, instead of sell them for 15 a piece, or if they sell for 17 a piece, instead of selling them for 17 a piece, I'll lot them up with like three 
and sell them for 15 a piece. As in like, I'll sell them for $44.99, something like that, lotting them up. So they get each shirt for a little bit cheaper and they'll pay one shipping fee. That's kind of how I do it. That makes sense for you. Put a sticky note by the poly millers say, not for Poshmark. I know. You keep giving me ideas to make that, to make it so I put stuff in um, Poshmark priority envelopes. I need to just do it. Come on, use your brain. I'm not, I, you said earlier, I'm such a guy. I am. I'm multitasking. It's not my thing. Japanese denim, bad. No, Japanese denim is good. With, with J. Crew, you'll see a lot of them have Japanese denim. I don't know how to pronounce them. One of them starts with the K, like K U R maybe, but those sell well. It's, they just, they use a, a Japanese denim um, and it's, it's like a better, higher quality. So when you go to J. Crew, those jeans are more expensive than the regular jeans, which means the resale value is higher. What do you think of the Mercari changes? Sorry if someone has asked. Yeah, it's fine. Totally fine. Um, I'm not on Mercari, but I'm used to returns. Uh, and I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to start doing Mercari when I get back from spring break in April. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm not going to, it's not going to tear me away. I think it's a fine thing. I think there are going to be people who don't like it. I think a lot of people who probably sold on Mercari. Um, might not like it because they're going to get a lot more returns, but welcome to, welcome to life. That's, uh, that's Amazon. That's eBay. That's the, what the big boys do. Where are you going? I'm going on spring break, going on spring break. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Missy. Um, your energy is awesome. That's all I have. I have either high energy or no energy. There's no in between for me. No in between for me. I think that's why I was... I was I was good. Look, priority. That's why I was good. Oh, those were um, two X small, two extra small Athleta, Athleta women's mesh racer running shorts. Two double X small. Sold those for $15. Uh, but yeah, I don't know where I get the energy from. Um. Watch your YouTube thrift last night. Awesome video and information. Appreciate it, A. Smith. Appreciate you watching. Again, with those YouTube videos of the hauls, like I'm not going to sit there and do a ton of editing and all that stuff. I just cut it up a little bit so it's it's quicker, more efficient, so you can just go one item to the next. But the point in those, and I watch other people's all the time, it's just like, can you pick up a couple brands in those videos that you didn't know before? You know, what, what are they paying for them? What are they selling for? Stuff like that. Those are the type of videos um, I watched when I try to learn. I'm always trying to learn. Uh, I just I just posted like a story about I'm always learning. Literally put that in there. Always learning. I've never sold something like this before. So another item that I had in a for a long long time in my eBay store, and I don't pick these any up anymore. Uh, Under Armour plaid golf shorts. They just the plaid don't sell well for me anymore. They did for a while, but they don't anymore. So they, they're kind of, I guess they're not great. I almost put this in a poly mailer. And uh, these sold for $15. Paid $3.99 for them. Teach did not. Uh, Tech did a live last night. He was like, why do resellers hate returns? Did he say that? Yeah, I love watching Tech and Sports. We talked a couple times. Um, I've never been in any of his like mentor groups or anything just because... <clears throat> I feel like there's a ton of information out there for free, just like what he does, those those lives. Um, but yeah, he talked about that last night. It makes sense. Uh, we, I feel like a lot of the stuff he does, I have a lot of the same mindset, like our organization, everything. Um, but yeah, he said, why, why do resellers hate returns? It's because I, I, I don't know, right? Why do they hate returns? It's part of it. It's part of it. Just make sure you list your item correctly. And um, I don't allow returns on, I don't allow returns. Um, buyer has to pay returns. I don't sell electronics, so I can't get messed up with that. And uh, with clothing, they if it doesn't fit, they're going to have to send it back. I put all the measurements in my listing so they can't argue about it. Got to love free pack material. You got to love anything free, right? What do you think of a car exchange? Um, pretty good. Oh my gosh, I'm way down here. Pretty good. Are you still? Are you still trying to figure out, guys? How do you talk to women? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I, I was going to be really inappropriate, but I'm not going to. Are you supposed to use priority bubble mailer? I use a Tyvex from Posh. So Donna Diggs, they said um, you can use any, again, I'm new to Poshmark. We're always learning, right? Um, you can use any anything that's priority, right, um, on Poshmark. So yesterday, Kway was in here, and, and he was saying, yeah, you can use anything. Like these padded flat rates, I can use these. But I use Tyvex and those. I haven't had an issue yet. Uh, will that Ralph Lauren jacket be for sale behind you? That is for sale. Actually, um, pretty good is in here right now. I bought that from his whatnot show. I think I have it listed. I've also worn it. It's super comfy. It's just too big for me. I swim in it, but that's that's nice too, right? Um, I love not being closed too tight. Uh, he was brutal. I love it, Tech. I love it, Tech. Yeah, he's brutal. He tells it like it is. And sometimes I feel like when I'm on here, like sometimes or when people message me, like my store and I'll do, I don't do store reviews, but sometimes I quickly will look at someone's store and I'll say, Hey, I'm going to be straight up with you. You half your items are good. And all those items are priced too high. The other half are not good items to resell. So just being straight up, what do you use for cross sisting? I use auto posher. Um, the cross sister will be out soon. But if you go to surfsupfinds.com, you'll see there's an auto posher, like a coupon for auto posher. You can click on that. And, but it doesn't just do cross listing, it does automation, it does, um, sends out offers, it shares your stuff on Poshmark, um, it does automatic uh, relist, delist, and auto detection. If something sells on one platform, it delists it from the other. Auto posher, um, from people that have used Vindu and cross uh, list perfectly, auto posher has been their favorite by far, they said. Super easy. Um, if they wanted me to buy their denim, they would have bought, oh my gosh, I'm not going to say that. Um, where are you going? I'm going on a cruise. I'm going on a cruise out of Florida, going on a cruise. We're big cruisers. We love cruisers. Uh, the people don't bother me. I've been on many. You don't get, I don't get seasick or anything like that. I have a lot of energy and I always like doing stuff like, uh, probably a lot of ADHD or something going on. But I don't like sitting, like going to an all-inclusive hotel. I'm not one, especially since I don't drink. I can't just sit there all day long. I have to be doing something. In a cruise, there's always something going on. The ship, the days at sea, there's always stuff going on. Then the next day you're at port, you're doing something. Then there's a nice dinner. Then there's a show. And then there's, you know, there's always something going on. Yeah, Tina, come get your freaking dinner. That's what you say to her. Um, I already got three sales. Uh, a day on Mercari, it's gonna get, it's gonna get my sell new tag items on there anymore. Um, I'm not going to sell my new with items tags on there anymore. Okay, JC, so you're not gonna sell your new with tags items over there. I get that. Um, I have not cross listed any of my multiple quantity listing items. I have not cross listed any of my multiple multiple quantity um, items to Poshmark, and I won't do it. To, I'm gonna leave those all on eBay. They're selling fine over there. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to have a mess up with those. Uh, why would someone not hate a return? I know, but it's the way it is. Do you have a business and a reseller's license? If not, can you still deduct your expenses without? Oh, yeah, you can 100% deduct it. You don't have to have a reseller's license um, to deduct. Um, all you do, you get a good CPA, you show them your profits for the year, and then all your deductions, which are your miles, um, where my uh, business is out of my home so i get a lot of expenses taken off out of there yeah for sure you don't have to have a business license i mean a uh reseller's license average three listings a day 12 sales a week trying to uh judge your ebay and full-time job there you go um juggle ebay and a full-time job ebay is the i'm telling you reselling to me is like the best side hustle so much better like you know if you did doordash or something you know about how much you'll make a night with ebay you don't know you go in a thrift store and get like a thousand dollars worth of resale items sometimes you might not obviously you might get just like 20 but uh i think there's a lot more potential on ebay or on reselling it's gonna read you my mind i not only ask because i'm a dork hey it's okay i'm a dork too um i'm a dork too joel i'm a dork uh i didn't think you could use flat rate good to know yeah uh so that's what they say Kway says you can use any shipping material from USPS except express mail to ship Poshmark, even flat rate. Allie, Allie watches Kway. I'm sorry you have to deal with that character, but I appreciate your information, and that's good, useful information. That's probably why you watch them. 
because he does give out really good information. Big question from Canada seller. When I sell to the U.S., my average calculated shipping was about eleven to twelve dollars, and I found that most items sold around six to eight dollars shipping. So it changed my shipping. Okay, there you go. Um, I don't know much. I don't know about much about it. Policy around that price, and raise prices by around three dollars. Was that a good idea? Yeah. So you, when you're sh- when you're listing an item, if prices go up at the post office, will they c- they continue to do it every year? Just have to calculate that into your listing. So you can just add a little bit more money to your listing um, or do what you have to do. I don't have an LLC one. Get a CPA, but most of us would just file a 1040 with the Schedule C as a sole proprietor for sure. Um, yeah. If, if at some point you're going to get 1099 because I think they're going to drop it from 20,000 to like 5,000 or less. So you get 1099. I found K-Way through you, so, oh, dang it. Dang. Why did I talk up that guy? Why did I talk up? What energy drink are you drinking? I need one. <laughs> Monster sugar-free. Okay. Chubbies. Don't don't start with me with that D and the B. Chubby, polo, golf polo, stretchy. Uh, these do well. I actually bought uh, Out There Flippin'. If you guys don't know them on um, whatnot, I bought in the middle of winter. They bought out a chubby store and they were selling chubby. I bought like five of these for, I think on average of like three bucks a piece, literally stolen. You're still here. Casey, did you find some good stuff? What's up? Well, Denny, little Denny, I got your shirt, but I'm going on vacation. So it's going to be a minute before I can get that to you. And I also have a uh, little Denny, this one, right? That one, right? Yes or no. If not, I'm listening. It, it is a size large. Size large. Uh, Cruises are the best for the money. I agree, especially since I don't drink. Cruises make their money off of gambling, selling you the extra stuff on cruises, and drinking alcohol. And so I feel like Carnival and other cruises don't like when I come on their ships because they're not making money off me. I gamble a little bit, but like $20 a day, if that. Um, maybe 20 bucks a day and, but yeah, they're not making money off me. Uh, let's see. Hi, good morning. What's up? I watch K way too. And he talks about you bros helping bros. I know Carolyn. I'm just, I'm just messing. We, we talk every day. Um, any priority mailers can be used for Poshmark boxes, etc. but also you can use an, an old Amazon box if that's what you have and it gives you priority label. I know people are new, but for new people, yeah. So that's new to me too. And so, yeah, this was my own thing. If you have your own box or whatever, it's going out priority. So basically, you can ship any Poshmark stuff out priority. What were the, what was that? That Chubby's, it sold for $20, by the way. Sold for $20. We went on a cruise with our elementary age schoolboys. They loved it. Yeah, it's great for kids. Great for kids. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go for a run. You know, less. Thanks for the advice, guys. There you go. Um, tech is the reseller dad of us all. Tech and sports is the goat. Tech and sports to me is the goat of reselling. No way could I ever list over a hundred items in a day. I don't have that. Number one, I have to get sleep. I like to have balance. I don't know. I can't do that. Oh, let's see. Finally banned K way. They finally banned K way. All my rental cars, uh, give swap, uh, Tampa. Oh, a gift swap ass in Tampa, Florida. Um, so all the rental cars, I don't know. Do they? I don't know. If it's hot, yeah, they give you swamp ass. Just saying. A lot of you are just popping in. You're like, what is this dude talking about? Nothing crazy. Headed to another one. Always find uh, American Girl stuff at. Ooh, Casey. Yeah, American Girl stuff. Be on the lookout for it. And their clothing and accessories and toys, all that stuff as well. Uh, do you gamble? Yeah, just barely a little bit. Just for fun. I actually prefer like the um, the roulette table because you can sit there for twenty with twenty dollars and watch other people gamble away all their money and go go really happy and it's just fun to watch them and you can sit there with twenty dollars and just play all day or all night. Easiest way to combine shipping? What's up, Bobby? On eBay, thanks in advance. What I do is someone will buy stuff. I will when I print off my label. I will make sure I make sure it's the right um, weight. And I will make sure it's going in the right packing. 
I'll print the label and then I'll go into that to eBay and I will refund them the difference in um, shipping cost. So that's what I'll do. That's what I always do. Basically, just combine the items, combine the weight. What's up, Jen? Um, and put it in there. As a beginner, I'm still confused about packing and using the right envelopes, boxes, and different platforms. Do you have a YouTube explaining this? Yes, Barbara, I do. So if you go on YouTube, I'll show you exactly here in a second. Um, we'll hop off. We'll hop off. Um, TikTok, and we'll go in. If you guys want to hop over to Facebook or YouTube, we can go in and talk about some things on Auto Posture and go into uh, eBay um, and go into my YouTube, and I'll show you some of that stuff. Jen, nice to see you, too. I like you posting and everything. <clears throat> Today is the opening day for Major League Baseball. There you go. If you're a baseball fan, I'm going to say go Cubbies. Uh, I bought all – that's good because I bought a ton of these Rain Spooner new tags – um, these are all the Cardinals, St. Louis Cardinals. So hopefully people start buying those, but, uh, yeah, this is the last time I might go live again. Um, I might go live thrifting last year before the cruise. I went live thrifting at a Goodwill right next to our hotel. It was really fun. Um, in fact, that was the first time like Kayway came on my live with me. Have you ever heard of P44 shoes, P448 shoes? I haven't never heard of them, Casey. Let's go Tampa Bay Rays. Bay Rays. I want all three shirts you have for me. Um, okay, I got you. Just we'll figure it out after uh after I get back. Well then I got you. I told you. No problem. I just found some. Casey, you know you're gonna have to message me. Uh yeah, thanks for vacation. I'm gonna stay on YouTube and Facebook for a minute uh and go in so I can share the screen and all that stuff. So P448 shoes are good, people are saying. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Have some really good sales. Stay safe out there. And as always, love you. And I really appreciate you guys always coming in. Let me uh, talk to you and hang out and answer questions and learn from you guys too. So appreciate y'all. I'll see you later. And you guys on YouTube and Facebook. And I'm going to end up over there on Instagram too. If you want to catch me, you can go uh, over to YouTube and Facebook. So what do you guys want to talk about? Morning. How often do you ship through uh, throughout a week? Um, I ship. My shipping policy on eBay is one to three days. Um, I will usually ship the next day always, but sometimes I don't. Um, it will be usually my average is like one and a half days, uh, 36 hours probably. But a lot of times I ship same day too. Um 100% tech is a machine. I love tell it uh i love his tell it like it is attitude i do too so he doesn't sugarcoat it i mean and he's a nice guy though too he's he's not a mean or like anything he just tells it like it is like no bs like why waste time i'm just gonna tell you tell you um need a balcony no titanic bottom <laughs> never yet we have them leaving out uh in new jersey yeah I, I saw some of the cruises now leave out of the uh on the east coast that's pretty crazy um, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, and I, I don't know where they go out of there. I'm guessing the Bahamas because they probably couldn't go all the way down to Mexico and be back in like a certain amount of time. Anyone know the name of the bitten store in Tampa, Florida? I'm having trouble finding it at Google. Um, look up, look up Goodwill Outlet or Goodwill Bins. I'm not for sure, but uh, I would look up Google, I would Google Goodwill Outlets or Goodwill, Goodwill Outlets, probably what you need to look up. Uh, join our reseller group too. For questions and search community. Yeah, Audra is basically like she runs the show there. Her and Linda. Um, yeah, reseller community on Facebook. Again, it's a hundred percent free. I don't sell stuff to people. Don't don't do that. You guys know me. But uh, if you just go to Google, you can type in "surf reseller community." It's the first thing that pops up. Houston Astros. Sophia, Houston Astros. Didn't they cheat? Didn't they cheat one year against the Dodgers? Didn't they do that? Uh, can you also show how to bulk edit international items? I will try. I'm here. What's up, Amy? I discovered a strange eBay surcharge. Really? I don't. Yeah, there's probably some. I'm sure there's some. Yes, outlets in Florida. So type in outlets in Florida. Uh, Goodwill outlets. Can you show how to bulk edit international? Okay. So I'm going to screen, sh screen share stuff right now. I have my carnival. You guys want to see my carnival stuff? Don't want to see that. Um, but we can go in. All right, so there's there's my name. Ha! And there are my uh, total cruises, 1998, and my VIF points. Okay, 
So let's go to um, YouTube first because someone wanted to see. Um, it's probably going to say I'm live right now. I'll view your channel. So I'm going to go down here. Look, it says good morning. I'm live. I'm going to go down here and look at playlists. Going to go to playlists and go down to um, resellers like right here. Playlist. So I have tips for resellers, reselling for beginner, beginners. So look at this shipping made easy. This one, it, it, it's about uh, eight months or so old. So took talk about first class, but really uh, it's ground. It used to be called first class, but now it's called ground advantage. But this should help you with um, the packages, like the padded flat rate, flat rate envelopes, boxes, all that sort of stuff. And then this one is, if you're new, like, finding out comps and sell the rate, stuff like that. So there's that. Uh, what were we going to do? We're going to go to eBay and do bulk eBay or bulk edit. So we'll go to um, sell. So here's everything, all my active listings. And I think I, I sold some more stuff awaiting shipment. So this is what I sold while we were talking. A couple of bad polo shirts. So I got to send those out. I guess I don't want to show um, let's go to, um, listings, uh, listings. And then right here, you want to go to edit, um, edit all 1449 listings. So we're going to edit all those. We'll come in here and I'll have every single listing in here. So right now I got to be super careful. Got to be super careful. Let me see if you guys have any other questions while we're, uh, while we're going. So for eBay, a box, for example, you must measure and weigh. Yes. So for eBay, you must measure and weigh the boxes um, and then put those in there. And that's the easiest way to do calculated shipping. So measure and weigh the boxes, put that into eBay, and you'll be fine. You'll, uh, you won't pay more money than normally. Went to Ross yesterday. Seems like clearance is the only place to make money. Is that your experience? Yeah, sometimes Ross will have a one-off item, like a Polo Ralph Lauren crazy piece for 70 bucks that you can sell for like 180 Astros did something, yep. Um, if you, if an eBay member has a registered outside USA address and you ship to them to the US address, you get charged an international customer fee. Oh, I did not know that. So you're talking about people that are like, hey, you're going to ship to this address and then people will ship it to me. I didn't know that. That doesn't happen for me very often, but it does happen. I have two shipping policies set up for priority and ground. They choose uh, always the buyer pays, Audra says. Okay. So let's go back over here. I was just reading comments. So here we are on the bulk edit. For example, what I had to do when I started the – we'll go to, we'll to AutoFosher too and check out what's going on over there. But when I – bulk edited um, all my descriptions because they were too long for auto posture or for Poshmark. My descriptions were. So when I went into auto posture, I had to change all my descriptions and that was an extra step. So what I did is I went into bulk edit and you can just go into any of these and you can bulk edit them anything. So um, you can do, let's see, bulk editing. Um, Duration, offers, reserve price, starting price, no. Delivery, package details, shipping policy. You can change your shipping policy on all of those. Um, oh, yeah, I guess you'd have to select them all. So you select them all and then change it. I don't want to get in there and mess something up. But, yeah, you can bulk edit your shipping policy. So let's go back out of here. So let's go back out and start over. It's like my students. Like, all right, let's start over so we can do it quick. So you're going to go to your listings under your seller tab. Under your sell tab right here, sell right there. You're going to go to listings. You're going to go down here to edit and then edit all of your listings. Um, so you draft bulk edit, continue. Um, so we're going to go over to the bulk edit. Now all my listings are here. Wait for it to populate. Not quite fit. I don't like that it's uh, 1449 but I have a ton of uh, quantity items, and those don't count. So my my phone says over 1,500 items listed. Okay, so I'm going to go over here, click that so everything's selected, bulk edit. 
You can go down to shipping policy. You can bulk edit everything there. Package details for delivery. Then you can go to listing details. Category, condition. You probably won't need to do any of those. Items description. That's what I changed. So let me show you what I do for item description. Beginning at the end. Um, choo -choo. The entire description. Update the entire description. Um, and I updated it. So <clears throat> in eBay, all I did was list my policy or just like a thank you, da, da, da. It's literally like three sentences, my description. And it's the same on all of them. So I changed my description on every single one of my listings. So I bulk, I bulk changed all my descriptions on all of my listings. Um, item specifics, title, subtitle, preferences, uh, return policies, payment policy, all that stuff. Um, you can even do like, um, yeah, all sorts of stuff there. So hopefully that helps out. I'm going to unclick that before I do something real bad. Uh, FYI, this is an older Wayne from TikTok. This is the other Wayne from TikTok. Oh, what's up, other Wayne from TikTok? What's up, Wayne? Uh, thanks for popping in. Zip on. I know. We all have different names everywhere. We used to. I had to get the same name. What a pain. I'm spoiled by Posh. I know. Um, yeah, so the, the Posh mark, what I did, so with Auto Posh, let's go over to Auto Posh here. Shooting policy, if you start there. Okay. Um, I don't want to go in there and um, so shipping policy, shipping policy. There you go. Change to. You can change your shipping policy. You can change your payment policy, return policy. So if you return policy, change to, and then you can select a policy. 30 days money back, all those I created. I accept returns. Da, 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 shame. This is my, I accept returns, the same picture, da, 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 da. but I'm not going to do anything. I want to go back. I'm not going to do any of that. Cancel. I got to get out of here before I do something bad. All right, so let's go to auto posture. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm not even signed in. Um... Uh, well, let me see. I don't even know. Oh, you guys just saw that. Um, that must not be it. Okay, there we go. Update password. Sorry, but that wasn't the right password, so don't worry about it. All right, so right now we're on auto posture. I'm on my dashboard, so it talks about, you know, all the shares that Poshmark's done so far today, all the offers, all that stuff. Um, all the recreates. So we're going to go to inventory. We're going to go to the cross lister and let's cross list this item right here. So you'll see this little box. It's means it's not really cross listed yet. Um, and I'm already set up for Macari. I just have a cross listed. So I'm going to cross list this item and it, so right here, I'm going to have to go back in and redo it again, but this is what my shipping policy is. So we're going to cop, we're going to actually copy that. We're going to copy that right there, but now I have to go in here. Whoops. I have to go in here and delete all that. So it's not ready anymore because it was too many. You only have 800 characters for your description on Poshmark. And then I'm just going to hit list on Poshmark. So that's how quick it takes me to um, cross list, but that's one extra step. So for example, I'm going to cross list these shoes. That might, that's the same thing. So I have to take that out. It's an extra step before I do that. I know that didn't take long. I know that was two or three seconds, but I'd rather not do that. So let's go back over to eBay real quick. I'm going to sell. I'm going to come down to um, edit again. Edit all. We're going to go and change my description and everything. We're going to go in and actually do something in here sure I answer you guys' questions. Oh my gosh, you rock. Uh, I've been cutting and pasting. So in that description with every listing. So you just taught me how to be more efficient. See, it's all about efficiency. So do you have a video on what you just did? No. Sophia, just come back and rewatch this. So this will be saved on YouTube and Facebook. So you can come back and rewatch this at the end. Just scroll to the end of the video. Um, all right, let's get back over here. So it's still trying to populate all this stuff, I guess. All right, we'll wait, we'll wait. But yeah, that was huge. When I figured that out too with the description because I just figured it out when I started doing um, auto posture. Go back to auto posture. Let me, let me re, refresh that page. Okay, okay. 
refresh that page. We're going to go back in. I don't know why it's being goofy, but you know, sometimes things are goofy like that. Edit all listings. Let's see what it says. In the meantime, I could be over here on auto posture, uh, cross listing more stuff, but you saw how quick that was. Let's go. Let's go over there. Or we're waiting. Let's go over and cross list a few more items while we're waiting. So, yep, I got to get rid of all that. So this is all I have. This is my only description, and every one of my every one of my items I have listed everywhere. That's my description, just that, nothing else. Okay, let me go back over. Um, okay, so here we are. I'm gonna go in, click on that bulk edit. I'm gonna go down to item description. Change to update the entire description. I'm going to change to what well, I just copied. Paste. So every single one of my items is going to have that description now. They're going to all change to that description. Apply. So every single one of my items will now have that description. So I just put, I just basically edited 1,450 items with that. I don't know how long that's going to take, but that will, that will do its thing. So hopefully that helped. Oh, there you go. Done. All right. So good. Submit all submit. No, no insertion, no fees with that. And so submitting all of it. So it's processing pretty quick. So pretty, pretty quick. Um, it automatically update the pricing round up or down. Yeah, it automatically updates. So we can talk about that too real quick. Um, uh, okay, I didn't know. Yeah, so these always save. These are always saved. My live videos will save to Facebook and YouTube. Um, replace screen sharing with auto posture. Yeah, so they won't. I did not update my inventory yet. So those eBay listings that I just messed with, they will not update over here. But let's go to this item right here, uh, this burr on the go. This one's already done it, I guess, from earlier, so I'm not going to have to mess with that. But yeah, so auto posture, I guess, automatically, um, what is it, rounds up. So when I click list it, and Audra knows, she tells me listings 25 to 50, um, so that's automatically put at 27. So let's find one of those items, Audra, that's like this one. Um She's, she's always said there's, you can look, there's two different ways you can look online on Poshmark zero to $25 and $25 to 50. So what I can do, I'll put this at $25. So that way it gets in two searches, the 20, 25 to $50 and the one, uh, $1 to $25. So there you go. That's that quick mouse on Poshmark. And then if you guys don't have auto posture, you can see everything that has, um, sold. So these are all the items that sold and got automatically delisted. So like this one we packed up today, it sold. And this one, it got delisted. See, delisted, delisted. Really good. So that's it. That's it pretty much, I think, guys. Unless you have any more questions. Uh, we will turn it around. And I will enter. So much faster than List Perfectly. So much faster, I guess. That's what, uh, that's what people say. I've, I've only had this one, but obviously I was in the works of looking at all the uh, I, Vindu, List Perfectly, all of them, seeing what they all do. I watched a ton of YouTube videos on them. I was going to get a Crossluster ASAP. I was just waiting to see how Auto Postures was, see how good it was, and it's really good. So I'm sticking with that one. Um, but yeah, and if you watch this later on, again, you can go to searchupfinds.com. You can click on the $5 off Auto Posture. You want to look into that. Raise your 23 and 24 ones. Uh, don't go down. So then take. Um, raise your 23 and 24 ones. Don't go down. So they. Uh, so you can take an offer. Gotcha. Yeah. Raise your 23 and 24. Like that one. I raised up to 25. All right, guys. That's it. I'm going to head off here. 
Um, I have a couple things to ship on eBay and uh, take pictures, and I'll see you guys next time I see you. Um, see you on April. Uh, have a great week, weekend, all that sort of stuff. Appreciate you guys, and always.